what do you think really makes certain artists stand out over others? Do you think it's more reputation or, in other words, work history or soft skills or what is it specifically that, yeah, like uh, for you just kind of makes someone more favorable over the other people who are applicants? I, I think it's soft skills. I think it's uh, a n nice people. We like to work with nice people, people that are just good, good people willing to help your colleagues and you know having a, a decent nice set of their own core values of like you know share you want to share with each other you want to share with your colleagues uh, and, and and teach them and stuff like that i think it's easier to teach people the craft than to you know teach people to be nice people you can't easily change personalities People come as they are and are not very eager to, to change. So it's uh, find good people that are willing to learn that are that has you know the passion or the drive or or you know the, the correct uh, or the, the, the nice um, mindset. And then you teach them or give them opportunity to you know learn the craft and that has been very successful for us at least. And it's funny because I guarantee there's plenty of visual effects artists listening who are just like, I don't believe you, you know, that's bullshit. Yeah. Just because uh, it, it's so important yet yeah, so neglected. Everyone thinks I just got to learn this other program and then everything yeah. will become easy. And yeah. it's, it's the hard skills are, as you said, it's, it's something you can learn, but it's, you know, it's all the other things. It's the curiosity, um, yeah. it's the, the willingness to help the other people so that way everyone bumps up 10%. Yeah, because... yeah, no, I mean, that, we have had that discussion so many times, like a rock star artist, I mean, and those are needed for sure. You need the goddamn rock stars that can just, you know, churn through uh, uh, shots and do, you know, key it's shots. not the and all asshole that rock star artist. Uh, <laughs> keep that, reminding that you that the rock star. <laughs> yeah, the, the, not the asshole rock star. Th those are just, uh, if they are spreading, you know, toxic vibes around them, it's not worth it. Like, fuck it. That, that, it's not, that's definitely not worth it. People that can influence other people to become better. Damn, that's how you kind of scale yeah. value. Because one person, even you might be like five times faster than your neighbor uh, or five times better, but that's your cap. Mm -hmm. you, you can only be five times better. You can, you can, th th that's where you cap out, where someone that can lift 20 people to become, as you say, you know, uh, better, that has a higher upside in terms of uh, potential. Like, uh, and I think. Yeah, no, for sure. So we, we try, and I'm super proud of uh, our culture and the, the people. Damn, we have amazing people. That is that is one of the things I think people say about us. There's a lot of people or companies that have amazing tools, amazing pipelines, amazing this and that. But the one common denominator that I hear a lot is like, damn, you have really good people. Mm -hmm. That's something yeah. I believe is true. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah, I guess to piggyback on that, there I was having this conversation last night um, that there's someone I was thinking about hiring. I've worked with him in the past and I was trying to describe him to the head of the studio and mm -hmm. I was saying that he's he hasn't had he doesn't have a lot of production experience. He's had like 25 years experience, but mm -hmm. in other 3D industries. And um, but the thing that if we were to hire him would be that the focus would be he would make everyone else better because he's mm -hmm. one of those people yeah. who's yeah. just everyone kind of goes to that person for questions and yeah. he's always solving everyone else's problems and in a lot of ways like that amplifier that you yeah. bring it means that every everything that's working in your studio yeah. increases and yeah. the more bumps you get the more that overall you look back a year from now and it's just like wow like we we didn't need to hire more people we we instead improved our people so I love cool. that and I second that 100%. Actually, one funny thing that an idea that me and Jaffe talked about earlier, we haven't ever implemented it, but the idea still, fuck, I believe it could theoretically still be possible that in theory, I think it could be worthwhile having two artists sitting together at one desk working on the same shot. One is driving the mouse and, and button and the other one is just co-pilot. And then mm -hmm. they can take turns switching. I, I fucking bet that it, it would pay off because for, for once you, you bounce ideas with each mm -hmm. other. It's like, ah, I don't believe that. I don't go down that route. I, I don't think you sh should do that. Or, or, you know, 
you 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 don't do it around yourself like when you get lost and you're trying to like because you have a co-pilot that like hey dude what are you doing come on let's get get to this i still to this day we still to this day believe that it's probably interesting experiment to have fucking two people sitting on one desk and and working on the same thing and i i bet it would be uh, at least uh, as profitable or as successful and very fun for sure 